Hey everyone, Technomancer here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to factory reset your iPhone back to default on the latest iOS version. So let's get started. Now, this will go ahead and erase everything. This is something you would do if you're selling, giving away, trading in your device. So let's get started. But before you do that, one thing I highly recommend is if you're going to back up your data, you need to back it up through iCloud or already transfer to another phone before doing this because once you do this, you will not be able to get anything off the phone any longer as everything will be erased. So if you want to do a backup, go into your settings, tap on your Apple account, and then click on iCloud. And right here is iCloud Backup. It's going to tell you when you last backed it up, you want to tap on Backup to back up your iPhone to the iCloud so you can have that data available whenever you move to a new phone or if you ever want to restore your data. Now, once you have done that, it's time to actually do the factory reset. So all you're going to do is starting in the settings, Go to general, scroll all the way down, it says transfer reset iPhone, tap on that, and then erase all content and settings. You're gonna tap on that. And once you do that, it's gonna tell you what's gonna get erased. Your apps and data will all get deleted. Your Apple account will get removed. It will also remove the activation lock or remove it from your account, anything in your wallet and everything else as well. So we're gonna hit continue. This is gonna ask you to confirm that you wanna erase. So you're gonna tap on that. Uh, and then it'll prompt you for the passcode for this iPhone. So I'm going to enter that. And if you had a screen time passcode, you'll enter that as well. And as you can see, it's uploading the data. So I'm going to skip that. But you want to make sure you upload everything. And then you have to enter your Apple ID password. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my Apple ID password. Now, once you enter your Apple ID password, you're just going to tap on turn off just like that and sometimes you may have to tap it a few times so if it doesn't work the very first time it is working it looks like it's frozen but it is not it will just go ahead and do it so let's wait and once you see the Apple logo it has started the process to do the factory reset and during this process I highly recommend that you connect it to a charger if you don't have 50% or more charge on it because you do not want it to die during that process as it will not complete so as you can see here it's going through the Apple logo will flash a few times the loading bar will load a few times as well which is normal we're going to show you what a successful looks like after it goes through the hello screen so we're going to wait until this completes all the way through the hello screen and finally as you can see here once you get to that hello screen the iPhone has been fully successfully factory reset and we can swipe up and see it's going to prompt you for to select language and region like you would if you're initially setting it up so that's how you do it i hope this video was helpful so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iphone we'll see you guys next time